Welcome back, everybody, to episode 17 of the 3PG Minecraft Adventure. Well, there it is. Actually, what you're looking at right now is... Redone. Yeah, if you look at it, check out these uh, pictures coming across there. I felt it was just a little too big. The roof was much taller than the rest of it. It was just so disproportional that uh, I had to scrap it. And I'm sorry, as long as that episode took, I didn't want to do another one like that. So, without further ado, here it is. Here is the new roof. Um, it's still pretty much all oak. And I don't know. I mean, it's it's pretty bland. I tried to spice it up a little bit here with uh, throwing in some birch wood. I tried, you know, I really tried throwing in some red and white wool. And it was just way too much. Way too much. I couldn't do it. Um, so here we are with this. And I think it turned out all right. I mean, it kind of breaks it up a little bit with that. And I may come back. I don't, I don't know if this is done or not. I mean, it's obviously done enough for me to showcase it to you guys. I may come in and find some other stuff to uh, do with it. Maybe I'll put in some uh, black stained glass over here on the side. I mean, you can't see into it anyways. I mean, there's nothing there, but it's maintenance area. But so that's why I figured maybe black stained glass or something to kind of cover that up. And, you know, so you don't really see into it, but it kind of gives it the feel of openness. And then, uh, yeah, you can see up there, you can see the... Uh, everything going on and with the windows and the design and I did the same thing on the other side I'll just show you we'll uh, take a look at that real quick and I went ahead too and I'll, I'll you'll see when we get in here there we go it looks pretty good I think it looks all right I think it looks all right um, actually and this wasn't too bad it all half in case you need to know if you want to know um, how I did this then you know pretty much I just did half slab all the way up obviously filled this in with some full blocks in here but all the way back it's half slab, half slab, all the way up. Just stairs up until it reaches, um, actually, and this was the original top right here. So once I reached this spot, I went straight up, went one, two, uh, one, two, three, three or four blocks up. And then I stared it over to the center, stared down, then just repeated it down that way. I think it gives it a little bit better look to it. So let's go ahead and head on in here and uh, take a look at this. All right, yeah, so here it is. I, I, as you can hear it, I've already brought in most of the cow. Um, I did save one of the dispensers. I'll show you how I brought him in. It's once I once I figured it out, it was actually oh, there we go, perfect timing, perfect timing. Got to see that. I mean, nothing's in there frying right now, but uh, it went off. I changed that up a little bit too. I'll show you guys that in a second. But uh, yeah, I added the stairs here. This is all new, all new. This. Uh, gives the resemblance of a door. I probably could have put wool up there, but I don't think so. I think it kind of adds to it with the uh, with the log right there. And then this makes it look all supported right here. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. It still provides access to our maintenance rooms. That was one thing that concerned me when I was originally doing this. I was going to put in full-size looking doors with red and white wool and it really kind of looked funky. Um, you might have been actually been able to see it from some of those pictures that I showed a minute ago, but uh, yeah, it just it wasn't working for me. This is how I did it in my other uh, Raising the Barn episode back in my uh, short bus trip series. Um, it's just kind of like this. It came out all right. But yeah, so we can still access back here. Build the stairs going up, and it still needs a little bit of work in here, uh, which we'll clean up today. This is just still my leftover junk stuff from in here. I've got a ton of stairs that... Uh, oh, man, he just... I do have cow in here. How do I have cow in here? They shouldn't have fell down. Hmm, dang it. Well, they didn't fry, so they must have just fell down and grew up, but that's right. That's what it's for. It's on the automated system. All right, and then uh, I put in some lighting up here, some glowstone, put some uh, uh, rails around here to, to you know, right in the center. That's pretty much what I did, right in the center of the windows. Put some fencing across, some glowstone with some trap doors around it. Then here, this was an even number in the middle, so... Uh, I put two there, trap doors around it, same thing, doubled up on the old uh, uh, fencing, and then right there. And then just for the heck of it, right, you know, have all this space up here. Like I said, I'm probably not done filling all this in, um, but it's done enough. 
Then you just come up here and you've got some lighting here, so that's lighting. It, even with the slab underneath there, it still provides plenty of light up here. So, um, so far I haven't had anything spawn up here, so that's good. Uh, they could probably still spawn up here on this walkway, even though it's... No, actually, they can't. It's half slab. They can't. They cannot. So, that's good. And then over here, it's pretty much the same thing. And because that, I didn't... I was going to put chests in here, but this is half slab, so the chest would sit up high. And, yeah, so... I didn't worry about it. Again, lighting. That's pretty much it. It just kind of adds to it. I may, um, after we set up our wheat farm, which we're going to do today, this should be... Cross your fingers, a pretty simple episode today. We should be able to get in and out and uh, not have it monstrous. There's no major builds. This uh, uh, wheat farm thing I'm doing is uh, actually belongs to somebody else, and so I don't have to design it, and I'll just go over it briefly with you guys and tell you where I got it from. So, But I did change this up over here. Uh, sorry, I'll try to talk over the sound of the cows here, but the uh, uh, I had to change this. For whatever reason, I kept moving the sensor back, the sensor back, sensor back, and I was four redstone away, and it was triggering it fine in the morning when you wake up from sleep, short, like, you know, a couple seconds after you wake up, it was triggering the uh, lava and it'd fry whatever's in there. But even if it wasn't an equal distance, I don't know why, it's supposed to be an equal distance with height. I did put in the, the glass block there for to give it fresh air, um, but it wasn't. At nighttime, it wasn't equal. It, it was still producing way too much power coming off the redstone uh, sensor, off the day, the daylight sensor, that you could sleep before it actually depowered this. See right now how that redstone's on? That means it's depowered, right? So what I ended up doing was, and I uncovered this. I had this covered up with half slabs. Just to, it, it's not pretty. I kind of hate having to do this, but I do. You know, you do what you got to do. Uh, but it's a comparator. With uh, at two glow, two redstone right in between with the redstone uh, torch, the redstone torch powers those. I put that in the subtraction mode, and so that lets it know that once it reaches, once that reaches the same power as those, um, it'll turn on. Which the only time it'll turn on is between five thousand ticks. Well, at 5,000 ticks, and it depowers at about 7,000 ticks right around in there. So it only comes on once a day, which is fine, and then it depowers quickly. That's that's fine. We just we don't want it to come on a whole bunch. We want it to come on just once. It doesn't matter what time of day. But if you fall asleep and this hasn't triggered yet, when you wake up, it's, it's never going to cycle. It's never going to cycle, and that's not good. So, um, yeah, it, it, better safe than sorry just to save me the headache of going how come my cow didn't burn up you know well it's because you slept as soon as you could but this didn't power down because the cycles weren't matched up so that's what i did it's ugly up here but you're only up here to feed them and this bed will eventually end up going away but um yeah so let me show you hopefully let's see if we got some time here real quick to show you guys how I got them up here. Oh, and one other mistake I ended up making, and I don't know, I, I guess I never really realized it before. I sealed this all up back in here. I think I showed this in the last episode. I sealed this all up. Well, things, the steak were coming through, and I've only fed them a couple times. Look how many, how many steak and leather I ended up getting. And see, good thing we put in, I don't know how, but for some reason I, I've gotten a couple raw beefs. There's only one in there, but I pulled one out earlier. Um, but Everything was getting clogged up. The steak was coming through, but everything else that was coming through was getting hosed up in here. What happened was I ended up putting um, dirt on top of the chest. And I didn't realize that you had to be able to open the chest in order for a hopper to put stuff inside the chest. I didn't realize that, so it was a costly mistake. I had to rip up the whole floor, get in there. I figured maybe a redstone was powering it somehow, uh, but no, it was it was because I had sealed dirt on top of those chests and and uh yeah so it was bad mojo so but yeah those those buttons up there those are just uh for show just to kind of break up the look of it there so all right well the sun's about going down so let's go ahead and take a nap as soon as it goes down and uh i've got a crap ton of cow what i've been trying to do i wasn't trying to breed them for food or leather what i was trying to do was breed them because typically they won't walk uh, unless they're really stupid or they're getting pushed over they won't fall they won't walk down but unfortunately i think i've bred them a couple times and i think only one of these actually has three cow in it huh maybe not i thought one of them had three cow in it but maybe not i don't want a whole bunch of cow in all these 
just because holy crap it's going to drive me bananas um, and then plus they just start glitching out and it looks all funny so I don't want to hold this that was the purpose doing all this is um, so it doesn't I don't have to load it up but I've got enough cow out there I think right now to put two more in all the stalls so that's probably what I'll do I'll end up doing it off camera but this was it, it took me a while I, I actually filled up a few stalls before I really figured this out and it was actually by accident I figured out how I was going to get the cows in there and then once I once I did this it was super super simple I was so just stressing this being a long arduous job and and uh, I mean it still took a little bit of time to, to do it but uh, nowhere near what uh, it would have been had I gone the other ways I was practicing let me just let out a couple cow here come on now take a lead I usually just do two at a time because that's what I'm putting in each each uh, stall so just lasso one come here buddy lasso two all right and uh yeah and the reason why i knew that my hoppers were getting clogged up oh come on was because um my leads when i was putting the cows in there they were just disappearing i'm going they've got to be going in the hoppers but they were they were just disappearing and it was driving me nuts i couldn't figure out where they're going because they weren't going showing up in the chest down there and then so I just started throwing items randomly. I broke out some of this glass and started throwing in items randomly just to see. And uh, come on. Man, that cow's stupid. All right. One at a time is a little bit quicker. I don't know. As far as getting them up the stairs and stuff a little bit quicker. But this is pretty much it, guys. You find the stall you want to take them into. And then just fall in yourself. And now this is okay. See how they're not coming in here? This one's going to fall in here. All right. That's good. That's fine. Take that, grab the lead, but see how this one's not this perfect. I'm glad he did this. Punch him. Just punch him once, and he's on the lead, so he's not going to run from me. And bam, there he is. He's right back in here. Jump up. Okay, yep, got my lead. I just jump up to see if the lead was still stuck to my hand. Um, if it wasn't, and I didn't pick it up, then uh, I knew, I would know that it got sucked up by the hopper, but it did. And then just be prepared. you got to do this quickly so they don't get out. Just break it. There we go. And that is it. That is how you get them in there. And once you get a rhythm down, it was pretty quick. I think I got this entire side done right here. Uh, minus, obviously, that one in a full Minecraft, you know, morning, afternoon, you know, from sunrise to sunset. and So it, it can go pretty quick once you get the routine down. Not a big deal. And then, like I said, you know, you can just uh, flip the water there. And that was nice. It kind of opened and closed my door for me. That was an unintentional result. But you can see him just hopping everywhere. Hop, hop, hop. So, yeah. And then if you, you know, if you don't have a bunch of cow in each breeder, you don't really need the water. Because um, I was going around feeding them. But it, that's mostly if you've got quite a few in there. Um, because it's hard to feed them all if they're all just standing in one spot because you can't physically see them. So them jumping like that puts them in different rhythms. So, uh, man, this cow ought to be burning up. I was kind of hoping... And fortunately, you know what? I didn't. I never died. I never fell off the roof and died. I fell off a couple times and came close, but never actually killed me. So I want this lava to turn on. Come on, we got some cow in here. I want to see them suckers burn up? It's just about mid afternoon. Yeah, and for some reason, I don't know what. I don't know why that one. I've got a raw steak down there. Like I said, it's happened a couple times, and I just don't quite understand. Oh, there we go. Uh-oh. Hmm. Wow. That's embarrassing to catch on film. They're down in the hoppers, and they didn't get caught by the lava. That's no bueno. I'm going to have to figure that out. I will definitely have to figure that out, and I will let you know that next episode. What we need to do today, though, we need to make this quick. I need to wrap this up. This is part four. Part four. That's just a, that's a ton. Like I said, this isn't my design. Oops, I didn't want to come back that far. Um, this isn't my design, okay? Uh, so I'm not going to take credit for it, but I'm going to use it because it's down, it's dirty, it works, it produces a decent amount of wheat, and that's really all we need. We need to produce a decent amount of wheat um, at a relatively quick pace so we can just come in here and feed this. And really, you know what? This will work for your um, carrots, and if you want to use this design, then so be it. Um, but this will also work for your carrots and potatoes and it, 
if you uh, you can incorporate it, there's I've seen a couple plans that relatively same idea, but using jungle planks so you can do uh, cocoa beans. So it's pretty versatile. But all right, we've got. Let's see, what do we need? It's going to be annoying for me with them cows and backgrounds. I'll be able to knock them the uh, volume down for you, but for me that is going to be annoying as hell. All right, we need two sticky pistons, three. Uh, dispensers, building block your choice. Actually, we're going to use spruce since the flooring spruce and the stairs are all spruce. We'll, I'm going to go ahead and do spruce for those. Uh, you'll need the hoe eventually. We all need a hoe every now and then. Redstone, repeat one repeater, and then just some uh, just some redstone dust. We only need a couple redstone dust. All right. First things first, we need uh, where your Let's see. Oh, we need a bucket of water too. Damn it. And I left. Oh, it's sweet. That's awesome. Okay. All right. So we need, um, let's see if I can remember this. We need that sticking up like that. And then we need our building blocks around it like that. Actually, I think we need it up a little bit higher like that. We'll end up having to knock those out, I think. And then a dirt block on top of there. Our, we'll go ahead and do that. Our water, we can go ahead and put in our water now. All right. Put our water up there. Just make sure to knock, not to knock that out. And then we could probably even till that right now. We'll wait on tilling that. Okay. And then we need to go... Uh, yeah, I think this is it, just like this. It's only 3x3. Three three. I did this because it's going to be a little easier to walk under right there. Alright, and I think we can, like I said, I think we can get rid of that one. I don't think we may end up needing to put that one back, but I'm trying to visualize somebody else's design in my head right now, so. Um, and I'm just going to give myself a little bit extra room to work. We'll seal all this up in a minute. Yeah, we just need a 3x3. Three three. I think that's pretty much it. Okay, so. Actually, is it 3 on that side or this side? No, it's right here. Okay, so we need a block there. Block there. This is where our repeater is going to go. So go ahead and put your repeater there. Two ticks. All right, and then we come up underneath here, underneath the, uh, do we need, yeah, I think we need redstone underneath here, all right, like that, I think it went all the way down, and then right there, we need a redstone torch, we need, we'll only need, I think, one torch, redstone torch on there, and we'll need a block on top of that hmm that's a little wider than I expect I have he said three by three all right that's right that should work we'll figure that out I'll worry about the decor later another block right there okay um, nope not that one we need this is where our sticky piston goes it goes right there don't put a hook a block up to it yet this will power our clock um, block right there, I believe, right there and right there, okay, and redstone dust right there, and our repeaters, let's see, like that, or not our repeaters, our dispensers, right, like that. I believe that's it for that. We can go like that. Okay, take our dispensers, face them towards the dirt block. All right, you need this block there. You need one on top of that piston too, so go ahead and do that. Place your dispenser over the water like that, and then a dispenser like that, all facing in there. This is going to dispense all our bone mill for us. And then come down here, and we need to put in redstone dust now. Like... Oh, come back around here. This needs to come like that. That powers that piston. 
And we'll need two buttons also. That's one thing I didn't throw in there, but you will need buttons. Do that. Okay, and this is the only thing I really kind of don't like about this design is this whole button thing. Um, I, I don't know, but it works. It's fine. You got to manually turn it on and off and the button, one of the buttons is below ground. And I wanted to use one of the ones with the, um, there's some that out there with the pressure plate you stand on. I could probably incorporate this design into a pressure plate, but I, I'm not worried about it right now. Just like that. Okay. And then you put another, oops, put another button up there. Push that one, and it shuts it off. There we go. That should work. And these will uh, all dispense our, uh, obviously put in our bone mill there. That'll dispense it all. And then you just uh, fill all this up. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see. Let me see. I think, uh, I think we could probably call that good. See, it's, like I said, it's pretty, oh, no. Yeah, that wasn't good. Yeah, don't want to do that. Cool. Yeah, so I'm definitely going to have to block this off. Maybe I'll make these stairs a little bit wider, I guess. To, I don't know. Cover this all up. I'll figure out the aesthetics of it uh, later. For now, I guess that... Uh, I guess that'll work. Hopefully I'm not breaking anything here. I'm going to have to use half slab or something. I don't know. Then again, maybe I'll move it. This is only supposed to be a three by three, but covering it, the mechanism is only a three by three, I guess. But and actually, I count a four. Hmm. Maybe I did it wrong, or he'd miscounted when he did it. I don't know. Anyways, so that's it. Let's go up here and go sleep. And then uh, I thought I had some seeds and stuff in here, but uh, I don't think I did. And we'll test that out really quick. So let's go ahead and go to sleep. Oops. All right, check seeds, no seeds. Double check down here. I don't think, I'm pretty sure I don't have any seeds in there. Oh, I do, I did. I was prepared, I was prepared. Sweet. It's not often I'm prepared. So that's pretty much it. Let's uh, start it up. Oh, you know what? Can't have that. It was uh, ruining, it detailed our earth. We can't do that. Let's try that again. Sweet, okay. Okay. I know I'm only getting seeds and we're not getting any wheat there. That's fine. I just wanted to make sure. So let's go ahead and go grab some bone. We will need what you could put. Nine stacks. So we'll need one, two, three, four, five, six. We need nine bones. Will give us enough to fill up all those dispensers in there. Nine bones will give us 27 stacks of bone meal. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Plenty of bones. That's why I got this on grinder. So I can just come in here and just, you know what, just give me the bones right now uh, when I'm working out and about. But that will work. All right. Drop off some of the stuff to you. Oh, yeah. And I told you guys I was going to put soul sand in there. And I did. I actually put... I, I may end up moving that. Man. Maybe I'll move that. I don't know where I'm going to move that to. Maybe I'll move that like... No, I can't even do it there. I don't think I have enough room underneath to put it all there. I don't know. I may end up moving that. Maybe I'll move it upstairs or something. I don't know. That uh, kind of bugs me. I was like, hey, a 3x3. Three three, that'd be perfect. It'll fit right behind those stairs. Womp, 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 womp. Okay, got to create some space here so I can have enough room for bone meal. All right, so let's go one, two, and three, and there, fill up one dispenser. Okay. Ooh, yes, yeah, some cow are definitely annoying, especially if I end up getting more up in here. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Yeah, sorry that failed. I don't know why. I'll, I'll let you guys know in the next episode or something just as a kind of follow-up. I'm not going to I'm not going to try to solve that cow not burning up issue in here. Um, maybe I'll have to I may end up having to put carpet over those hoppers. I've seen that before. Um, 
that should be all right. Prevent those guys from falling down into there. I'll have to try that and see how that works. All right, there's that. There's that. Sweet. All right, let's try this thing, huh? And that shouldn't be dispensing any bone mill because, oops, because there was nothing for it to go. So you don't have to worry about it going and wasting your bone meal. It's not the fastest. And if you put this on a server, be prepared. Yeah, may get in a lot of trouble. It's a relatively slow clock. It's not real fast, but, uh, you know, you're, uh, you may bog it down. So just keep that in mind. If you use it too often, um, you'll lag them and they'll be kind of upset. So we've got 25 breeding cells, two cows each. So that means we need at least 50 wheat. So do this. Yeah, it's a little loud. It's a little annoying too. So it might work better if we, hmm, you know what? Let's see. We've got 50. We'll have 50 here. Just a second. 49, 50. All right. So there's that. This might work a little bit better if we use a half a slab right there to walk up on. Um, or a stair. Stair might even work. But uh, let's just go like this for now. Let's just test it out like that. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe not. Cool. Well, anyways, we've got enough wheat. So let's just go feed these guys. That just makes it quick and easy. I'll eventually build a big-ass wheat farm. And then, yeah, even though I don't need to, we'll do it anyways because it's a function of the farm. Get these guys doing some uh, Billy Idol here. And just feed them all up. <laughs> Alright, and that's it. That's all you gotta do. Then the water push them down. It may not be worth it. I had some cows twitching out there for a second. That was kind of a trip. Sound like they were getting hurt, but they weren't. I don't know what that was all about. Hmm. That door's going to drive me nuts, too, with that button there. <laughs> and it may not be worth it to get the experience points when you're only breeding one cow at a time. But if you've got a bunch of cow that you're breeding in one cell, then it'll be worth going and picking all that stuff up. I mean, because you actually get a decent amount of XP for breeding. So it can definitely be worth it in the long run. Definitely got to figure that out. I don't know what happened to the... Most of these had big cow in them. See, he's down there. Yeah, I'm going to figure that out off camera. But I think that's it, guys. I do believe that that is it. And I don't even know how long this is at this point. But I know it uh, probably is long enough. This was a four-part series. And yeah four-part series. Wow, that's okay. Right, you know, I mean, I gotta have an episode. Oops, I gotta have an episode no matter what. So, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter if it's a one-part or a 20-part, right? Ultimately, it's all the same thing. Anyways, we're building just one after the other. Sorry it took me so long to build this thing down. So, uh, but yeah, I think it came out all right. It's a little, a little bland. A little bland with all that oak in there, but I really didn't want to do that again, because that would have just, I think that would have been way too much brick. It would have been Harder to handle the brick than it would be that oak, I think. But uh, And I may put windows down here, too, or something. I don't know. I haven't quite figured it out. And psh, Who knows? Maybe I'll just leave it. Um, it's time to get on to the next, next thing, the next big and bad thing. And I think what we will do with the... Uh, let's turn this around here. Pow, F5. F5. Sweet. I almost got that down. Um, I think what we're going to end up doing for the next episode we really got to um i made a comment i think it was on my twitch so i don't think i made it in the last episode of um i was going to do the iron uh, foundry for my iron farm but uh, uh 
he's got a new one and it's 1.8 compatible and he calls it the iron titan if you haven't seen it yet go check that out and as a matter of fact before i forget the um, guy who came up with that wheat farm there his name is keth something like that q e t h keth all right I won't, I won't provide a link. You can just search for it yourself. That's up to you. That's fine. But there's his props. Q-U-E-T-H. Or not you. Q-E-T-H. Q-E-T-H. Yeah. But the Iron Titan. It's massive. But it's going to be easier to build than the Foundry. And it produces more iron. So that's what we're going to go for. But either way, we're going to need a crap ton of villagers. And as I mentioned, that village over there is out of... Villagers, so we've got to go to a village. We got to start breeding them in that village Then we're gonna to have to transport them through the nether on train tracks get them back over here into breeders and start breeding them. We're gonna need 60 Oh, man, we're gonna need 60 villagers. So we got our work cut out and for uh, for us in that uh, But really all we need to do is transport two two villagers. That's all we need to do and uh, We can start we can start breeding them up. So I'm not too concerned about that at this point and well as always thanks for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it uh it took a little bit to build this farm and sorry for uh changing the roof design um and not showing you guys uh what i did to that but that's, that's pretty easy build you can see that for yourself and uh, it came out pretty decent i think better than the other one you can follow me on twitter at three prong gaming you can also like me on facebook under the same name should be there at the bottom of the screen you can also follow me and check me out on twitch i don't uh, twitch too much but i am there and it's same as my youtube channel it is short bus trip find me over there check that out go ahead and check out one of those other two videos on the screen let me know what you think on those and as always until next time keep on building peace